Stand to your feet, please. Unless you are pregnant or maybe above 70. Or you are not well. If you are not well, may you be well in Jesus' name. What does the Bible say? One, two. No man can serve two masters. Let's take it again. One, two. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and ma Madiaben Mammon. Tell somebody, look at two people, look at the person eyeball to eyeball and say, You cannot serve God and Mammon. Have you gotten two people? I heard somebody say Tofiaqua. You may take your seat. This is a very simple sermon. Like I said, if at the end of the sermon I have helped you to examine some choices in your life, I believe I have done my job. Number one, you cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve idols and God. Amen. An idol is something that becomes an object of attention or worship. An object of excessive attention or worship. Are you getting me? Unfortunately, today's world, we have things we call idols. And now they are popular television programs. Well, how many of you have seen idols before? And it is almost changing the name into something glamorous. Something acceptable. But an idol was never acceptable. I said an idol was never what? Acceptable. In the Bible, those who worship idols, God dealt with them. Mm -hmm. 23,000 people fell in the wilderness because of idol worship. Wow. Can I speak to you? God has warned that we should not make images of stone or wood. We are not to bow down or pray to any type of idol. Bishop has a story here. He said, I once visited a town in which I found a space in the center of the city filled with images of antelopes, leopards, fish, and birds. The people in the town worship these idols. How many of you have seen some of these idols in different parts of Accra before? Different parts of Ghana before? Yeah, not just Accra. Ghana is all over the place. Almost every city you go to, there's a place. Some places, they are more obvious than other places. Are you listening to me? God wants us not to make images of anything on earth. I think it's one of the Ten Commandments, isn't it? So that shall, I'm the Lord that God, that shall, that shall have no other gods before me. Something like that. How many of you remember your Ten Commandments? Charlie, the mosque is quiet. Sorry, the church is quiet. We are not supposed to make images of anything. Antelopes, birds, fish. Listen very carefully. Bishop says, I know a town in which a solitary, solitary means a kome. One, a solitary crab. And by the way, when I read it and you also know it, say, this I know. Can we practice it? Say, this I know. Okay, listen to Bishop. I know a town in which a solitary crab stands high in the city center. So precious is this image that the road was diverted around it. This I know. No one dares touch that holy crab. Hey! Is it a wonder when the blessing of God is absent from such places? How many of you went to school in that place? My wife went to school in that place. You won't raise up your hand. There's one young boy here who also went to school in that place. You also went to school in that place. A crab is in the middle of the town. There's a road. Imagine this black thing is a road and the crab Charlie, I'm no idol in Jesus' name. And the crab is there. Do you know crab, by the way? What is the fancy for crab? Koto. Koto. Guy is what? Ah. And so when you people are saying the soup has car inside, you are saying it has crab inside. So what about na? 
What? Small, small crack. The one you can just put in your mouth like that. Tell somebody, can ka, can na. Then wa is also inside. Wa. Then tamale. There's no tamale. If there's wa, there must be tamale. Wa is snails. Can you imagine a road? And it's a real road. In the middle of the town, to the point that the highway engineers decided that as the car is the road is coming, they have to leave the idol and then meander around the idol. It's a town in uh, Ghana. Yeah. It starts with C. Yeah. If you want to say it in the local language, it starts with O. And Pastor, it's my hometown. If it is your hometown and there's a crab in the middle of the road, shouldn't I say it? I will say it. And that town doesn't seem to seem the same way. May the Lord bless that town and help us. Listen, if you are a Christian, you must decide that I would not serve God and idols. Is it a good thing? Leviticus chapter 26 verse 1. You shall make you no idols nor graving image. Neither rear you up a standing image. A standing image. Neither shall you set up any image of stone in your, in your land to bow down to it. For I am the Lord your God. That's why Daniel and the other people, they decided not to bow down to the image that the king or whatever created. And they were vindicated. May you not bow down to any idol in Jesus' name. Yeah. This is a very simple sermon. Just listen to it and may the Holy Spirit lead you. Exodus 20 verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Exodus 20 verse 5. It says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and the fourth generation of them that hate me. Do you know there are houses that they put on these idols right on top of the door? Yeah. So that when you're going every time, sometimes the doors are not even tall enough. When you're going, you have to bow down. Your village. And maybe my village too. Maybe. Look, be very careful about these things. When we come to church and we are singing, every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory every knee shall, shall bow, bow at down your throne. Is every knee shall what bow at your throne every knee shall bow before your throne listen take note from me if you forget everything don't forget this one every knee shall bow i said every knee shall bow it's a scripture is that not a scripture like that every knee shall bow only that some will bow too late. Hmm? A bow too late is a bow in vain. Sure. A bow too late is a bow in vain. Every knee shall bow. Make sure you bow at the right time. Make sure you bow to God at the right time. Instead of bowing to idols, let us learn to bow to God. Amen. Let us bow to the word of God. Let us bow to God himself. Praise the Lord. This is a very simple message. You have no idea. Idols. They are in, when you go to Asian culture, I'm an architect, so what I'm telling you, you can take it to the bank. When they design their houses, at the corners of their houses, they put Certain scary, if you watch movies, some of you watch Snake in the Monkey Shadow, Shaolin Temple, and all those things. They put some hideous looking creatures at the corners of their buildings. They call them gargoyles. G A R G O Y L E S. Gargoyles. And they say that it's supposed to scare off evil spirits. Meanwhile, they are the ones that attract the evil spirits. And each time you are going, you are bowing to them. Be very careful, ladies and gentlemen. When the Bible says, you shall serve no other God before me, 
it is a reality. Exodus 34 verse 14. For thou shalt worship no other God for the Lord whose name is jealous is a jealous God. Wow. Uh, if you are somebody's beloved, don't go and say, um, uh, when the girl asks, why are you jealous? Say, yes, I'm following God. My God is jealous. So me too, I'm also jealous. No. There are two kinds of jealousies. The God kind of jealousy. And then the man kind of jealousy that brings trouble. Ask somebody, are you going to serve an idol from today? You see, when I was saying all this, somebody was saying to himself that, oh, pastor, but me, I'm born again. I don't have any idol. Ah, I don't know. There's no idol. There's no, I don't have any idol. I don't have any idol. I don't have any idol. I want to put it to you. Anything that you raise and elevate above the worship of God is an idol to you. Anything. Anything. It could be food. Yeah. The Bible says, and this was Paul who was speaking concerning the Christians. He said, the Christians, they are slow bellies. Slow. Can you look for that verse for me? Just look for slow bellies. Everybody say slow bellies. Slow bellies. Anything for somebody is clothes. For somebody it is his car. One guy asks an architect to design a house for him. Hmm? Yeah, look at Titus 1 verse 12. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own said, the Christians are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. Just on Pedriani. They just keep on. Listen carefully. An architect was asked to design a house and the brief was the living room should be next to the garage. 